Hi, I'm Sandy, Nicole Lee, um, and I wrote a book, uh, several actually, <laughs> but this latest one is Make Hope Happen, and it's on Amazon. It's Sandra under Sandra Lee. I don't use Nicole on this one. Um, that's just my middle name. But uh, Make Hope Happen during difficult times we're going through. Uh, a lot of people have been fearful um, they're afraid to go out because they're afraid they're gonna get COVID. Um, but we have to live our lives. We can't shut down everything. Um, but I do want you to go there and um, check this out. If you can, it's called Make Hope Happen because in the current times which we live, we need to be steadfast with certainty and faith more than ever. If you don't have a higher power, it's even harder. So we, if we, what we need to do is hold on to the hope that we have for ourselves, hope for our country, and hope for our future generations. And this is something we need. We need badly during the current time that we are living in. Um, as you know, there's been a lot of unrest, uh, a lot of divisiveness, a lot of drastic changes quick changes have been happening in our country and things that are destructive that we don't want to see. Uh, things are just spinning out of control. And I, I really think if you read my book, you will see uh, there are ways to cope and um, maybe you won't understand it all, but I don't understand it all either about why things are happening. But Nonetheless, we still need to keep our focus on uh, what matters most. And so if you read this book, which I think you can read it in around an hour, because it's not, I don't make really long books. It's like 59 pages long on Amazon. I think it will help you cope and you can share it or give it away as a um, gift to somebody even. Uh, so yeah, understand really make hope happen. I'd appreciate you going there and commenting too. And if you want to subscribe, you can do that uh, to my channel because I have a lot of other books as well, some for children. And in the back um, page, it'll give you a list of many books that I have written. And there, none of them are, are huge books. They're, they're actually more like short stories, some children, like I said. Uh, so this list is all these dots that you see are the bullets or lists of books that I have on there. So they're really interesting and I think you'll find that uh, you'll have something to hold on to and share with others. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye now.